homeboy. Uh, not ready to do this. Uh, what's the truth? That nigga's trash. He's horrible. He is horrible. He is horrible. He is really, 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 really bad. As a rapper or a person? I'm not, I don't know him as a person. Oh, okay. I'm only speaking about music. Music. He's really, really And that thing happened with him where when he was out, the label pushed a button and did some YouTube. So then all the little kids had to just come to, come to the gathering and tell you about NBA young The thing boy. I dropped was a side two. My album's still in the top ten. Nigga, don't speak on me. I don't play that. Don't rat on me, neither, you bitch. I said, I want that piece about two the old. Stupid, dumb. It don't even get hard no more. Count, nigga. You ain't no, ain't no sabotaging me. Yeah. with that nigga, man. Don't rat on me. I'm, don't rat on me. And I don't want to argue with you, nigga. Hey, you should do all them interviews. Hey, come on, great nigga, mountain and talk to me, nigga. You can't, you can't do that, man. Hey, you made, nigga. Shut your ass down. I draw with the. Oh, you're watching the playback. <laughs> it's always a lot worse. <laughs> It's always a lot of words. I owe NBA Youngboy an apology, too. Let's you start do. with accountability. I owe him an apology. Yes. He don't even bother nobody. Mm. He don't even bother nobody. And the pod was over. Yeah, we didn't need it. The pod was over. I was in my notes. My notes is for my brain. That ain't to put out there like that. And if you're going to have the conversation, there's a much better way to articulate what you're trying to say and have the conversation. Yeah. Like, that's just lazy to do that at the end of the pod. We do that a lot, by the way. And my dick gets hard. Give you some critique. Yeah. That wasn't, I didn't know where we was going. <laughs> I didn't know where we was going with this. Them niggas think we old as dirt. We old to these niggas, man. Not me. Yeah. But... That niggas is old. Got it. it didn't feel sit well in my soul and my spirit as I watched all of the biggest blogs. Shout out to you, nigga. Maturity. I'm proud of you. I didn't like it. I'm very proud of you. Maturity, yeah, seeing the vision. Yeah, it was coming was in and backing up. That was going. And apologize. I didn't, like it. I didn't like it. You're supposed to put your hand out, but I feel you know I don't I don't feel. So, button, I love you, bro. They they ain't understand our plot twist. It was strictly for to do an interview after that. Tell them don't take us too serious. Everything entertainment, man. Oh, yo, it's Big Ant, the spokesman, man. We back. Another edition of Urban Politicians TV, UPTV. Make sure you stay on your pivot at all times, man. Had to come tap in. And probably over the last, what, seven, eight years, it'd be a conversation every once in a while in the rap game between the older generation and the younger generation. Older rappers calling young rappers trash. Younger rappers thinking they got to shoot back at them. Then it had died out for a while. And then every once in a while you catch a little spurts and sometimes the other one side be right there's sometimes one side be wrong or vice versa but in this case with joe button having a voice that he has the platform that he has and him being one of the most popping podcasters in the game when he said he been your boy was trash it went crazy all over the internet well you saw your boy response turned all the way up it gave him an invitation to Grave Digger Mountain, but now it seemed like everything cool. And I had a link in the description from episode 680 and 681 of the Joe Budden podcast, Malcolm on Ice and Vanity King. Well, Joe Budden came back and acknowledged, hey, bro, I could have said that better, could have really had the conversation and talked about it. It was the end of the podcast and things like that. And I owe him an apology, told him directly, yeah, man, that was wrong. That wasn't right. And like he said, when you watch that playback, and I said that from the jump, man, when you see it on every blog, I think anybody who come from rap like Joe Button, who was a rapper himself, didn't really care what nobody said. That nigga Joe could spit. Most definitely was going crazy with the bars and the mood music. And I think if Joe Button really listened, like, sometimes in the space, he kind of was like an emo rapper type nigga, too. Just had a different delivery and things like that. Because yo boy really low-key. A lot of these rappers are kind Kind of emo artist, but Joe would put everything on his mind when he was going through in his music, most definitely. So, you know, whether you like it or not at times, it ain't what you say, is how you say it. You know, the concepts and everybody, everything ain't for everybody. Well, you see your boy say, hey, man, it's all good, Joe. I love you, man. And you know, you never, never go get a direct forward answer with your boy. But I tell you like this, it's all entertaining, bro, just to see 
us having these conversations of rap, younger rappers, older rappers, then Joe came back and said, man, I'm taking accountability for that and everything. That should have been done better. I could I could have said it that way better. But shout out to Joe, shout out to young boy. As I said already, they both doing their thing. Joe Budden, one of the faces in podcast in general, not just the rap and hip hop. It been young boy, one of the leaders of this new school that go crazy. Got some jams that I be liking when I listen to young boy. Some of them, they not for me as much as others, but nah, I, I give I can give young boy some burn in this thing, bro. I like to listen to a lot of the young artists, and I be everywhere with it. Shout out to Joe, shout out to young boy, man. They got that understood, and it's just what's gonna happen, bro. But I tell you this, like it or dislike it, it most definitely keep the conversation around the music and things. I think we can work on our delivery, but as long as it ain't leading to nothing dramatic, it's kind of helping push the culture, just keeping it all the way a thousand, bro. I like when artists are upset about their music getting critiqued in a certain way because it lets me know that they actually care. Like, I would be all the way a thousand. You supposed to get mad if a nigga call you trash, nigga. That mean you really put your all in that music, man. Tell me what y'all think. We got more coming, more videos, all that. What thousand for shit show. Stay on your pivot.